Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. After reading floral tributes left at Sandringham for the Queen, the Prince and Princess of Wales shared poignant photos of themselves. A huge crowd waited behind metal barriers to see William and Kate after they emerged from a dark Range Rover near Sandringham's historic Norwich gates. Following their visit, the couple posted two pictures from Sandringham to their Instagram account, with the simple caption, Thank you to everyone at Sandringham today. As they read the messages on the sea of floral tributes left at the gates of the royal residence, William and Kate appeared deep in thought. He told a woman at Sandringham this afternoon that yesterday's procession was very difficult and brought back a few memories of walking behind his mother Diana's coffin before telling her, don't cry now, you'll start me off. As William told a mourner, the queen was everyone's grandmother and Prince George, nine, understood her death, but Princess Charlotte, seven, and Prince Louis, four, did not. In the meantime, Kate told a woman she would burst into tears if she read too many sympathy cards. As King Charles III rested at his Highgrove estate in Gloucestershire, the rest of the family took up the mantle. Sophie, Countess of Wessex, hugged mourners in Manchester and Princess Anne visited Glasgow. At Sandringham, the Queen's estate in Norfolk, Fran Morgan, 62, chatted with Kate as she and William spoke to the crowd. According to Mrs. Morgan, she couldn't believe how many cards and flowers there were. But she also said, I can't read them all or I would cry.